What's up, Leo? This is your weekly reading. If you're new here, my name is Tori. I do these readings every Tuesday through Friday for all the signs. I do a fire signs, which is you guys, Aries and Sag, um, every Tuesday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload these. Um, or you can follow me on Instagram and just follow my story every day. If you want to get a personal reading, that is linked in the description below. If you want to donate to the channel, you can buy me a coffee, one-time donation. Linked in the description below, there will also be a card that will come up. Join my email list for extra goodies. Become a patron for extra goodies. Um, I do weekly vlogs now on Patreon only. Um, you know, if you want to be nosy so yeah and thank you to all my patrons and to everybody who's purchased readings and bought me a coffee or whatever all the support goes a long way and i appreciate you guys a, a lot so let's see let's get into this leo reading and see what we got for y'all happy valentine's day at the time of the recording it's valentine's day so okay all right, I'll show you the cards once I pull them. Damn, this is a... Co you know what's funny when I do these readings? There's always one or two common thread cards throughout each reading for each sign. Uh, for y'all, it's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I don't know if you guys are having some sort of like family issues. It could be money issues as well. Um, or maybe just having worries about family like... Maybe y'all have some fears you need to release as far as like some sort of familial unit is concerned, right? Like, um, this um, it's it's giving the energy of like, well, what if you know, like, what if my mom dies? Like, it's giving that sort of unnecessary worry. The moon is also a card of being faced with two paths, right? But I feel like in this situation, you could either make it better for yourself or continue to wallow in the conflict um that's that's really what i'm feeling leo and with this you know the moon is directly in the middle of these two cards and this is a card of releasing the worry you can stop worrying or you can continue to worry and continue having issues it's it's kind of that simple um, the Ace of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. That is that new spark, that inspiration, um, creativity as well. Five of Swords in reverse. You can lay down the swords, stop resisting. H here it is, by the way. I'm going to show it to you. Um, you could, you could continue to fight this off, or you can. It's almost I'm getting like surrender vibes. Or you could surrender. Um, that's what I'm getting for you. Let's see. Nope. That wasn't it. That wasn't it either. It was close though. Very close. There, there it is. That felt good. The High Priestess yeah okay you need to really get in touch with your intuition because you're not there's a situation where you're really needing to tap into that that stillness and that intuition and that trust and you're not and that's what's causing most of your issues seven of cups is like real and, and the high priestess is also kind of that card as well of like things being revealed so you can see things for what they are um but also you know them for what they are just intuitively you're just not tapping into it leo and you need to in whatever this situation is seven of cups in reverse is about getting your head out of your ass basically take your head out of your ass i don't know if you're living with it, again within these like delusions of um something horrendous is going to happen like that 
you know, you won't be able to recover from, that's a farce. That's a fallacy. It's not real life. You need to get your head out of the fucking clouds. And I love (laughs) y'all. I really do. You know, you need to either see this person for who they are. There's no people here yet. We'll see. You know, like if it's a situation, a person that you're dealing with, that maybe you've like made excuses for somebody or whatever. It could be a family member with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right? You need to stop making ex- excuses for this person and trust your gut and and really get, in, first of all, get in touch with your gut. It's this, I'm getting this feeling of like, release your worry because the worry that you have is um, is the farce. Once you get in touch with your your higher self, like your your intuition, your gut, you will know the answer to whatever it is. It will be revealed to you to the point that you won't be living in this delusion of, you know, worst case scenario. Oh, why am I having issues? Uh shuffling today <laughs> four of cups i'll show you all the cards once they temperance okay oof we love these cards okay yeah knight knight of swords is at the bottom of the deck in reverse which is a card of either somebody who doesn't have the best intentions for you or that could just be again your brain all over the place it's almost like your brain is not doing you right leo (laughs) your mind ain't your mind's fucking you up four of cups is about apathy and um for for in this in this (laughs) she's wearing a shirt that says over it (laughs) maybe some of y'all are like over the situation right the the key here is to really a find that patience but find that center and that stillness that's how you turn this high priestess up back on its on its right side is being still being patient with yourself balancing the situation out maybe it's balancing that mind and spirit you know there's some sort of choice too with the lovers the lovers is all about choices the lovers is all about Um, again harmony and balance like there's very much so with the moon it's always two two paths with temperance it's balance and and you might be faced with some sort of difficult decision or something like that it could be the decision between do I stay in my fucking head and allow these thoughts to overtake me or do I surrender and get and become still and balance them and create and take this shitty situation and turn it into something that could actually be good in the long run, right? Could be that or could be quite literally you have some sort of situation coming up where you're going to have to make a choice and the best possible choice that you, the best possible outcome that you will have will be the choice you make that is rooted from your gut and your intuition but you first have to get in touch with your gut and intuition do not make a do not make a decision from delusion that is just not going to end well for you it's just not strength Love that. These two. Knight of Cups. This is another card that keeps. Chariot. And the Knight of Cups. I feel like that's barreling through your own insecurities. Really facing, finally, like, almost like facing your yourself. The Chariot is a card of unstoppableness right it, it and i mean the strength card is out but the chariot is also a card of strength as well like you don't let things stop you the strength card is more so like that inner strength to not um 
to not use your animalistic nature and want to like let's say rip somebody's throat out right if somebody cuts you off in the middle of the road i mean this is a small example the strength is way bigger than that this is like on a whole life level right because it's a major arcana card but to put it into perspective strength is like when somebody cuts you off while you're driving you have the strength within yourself and the willpower within yourself not to then flip that person off and tell them to go fuck themselves you let it be you let it go and you keep it moving because that's what's best for your inner peace maybe there's a message here for somebody in that sort of situation the knight of cups in reverse can be a jealous um energy cancer pisces scorpio energy doesn't have to be heavy cancer because the chariot is cancer energy again doesn't have to be but it could just be somebody who is very much so in their emotions and maybe jealous of you for some reason ten of wands is at the bottom of the deck what is the best advice wow there you are leo <laughs> wow now y'all getting the same fucking six of cups i'm hearing wish them well i don't know somebody needs to hear that but the, your best advice is the king of wands the devil in reverse <laughs> and the two of wands and again there you are again with another decision and a path a different path choose a different path right choose the path that feels best to you and when i say feel i mean emotionally feels good to you right this king of wands this is just your energy you know what you want you know how to get to it you stand in your power and you do what's best for you you're in this creative flow right now don't waver from that stay there right but your advice is to release the toxicity if there is any let let it go and again, that's where that high priestess in reverse comes in as well. She's also one to surrender. So maybe right now you're not, but you need to be. Because this is it coming up as advice. Pick a different path. You can go your own way. That's that's literally what I'm hearing in my head is like pick pick the new path. Choose the new adventure. Um because it will serve you better that's i know that you know choose the new adventure nothing will come of this situation i don't know what that means to be honest balance there's that balance again balance spirituality and practicality again like i said before that mind and spirit balance a time for healing that's also where stillness comes in. What do you need to release at the bottom? Mm-hmm. Right. Like, I don't know if you're afraid of the conflict or something like that, but I think maybe that's where, for some of y'all, the nothing will come of this situation comes from. Like, if you're afraid of either being... I don't think y'all are afraid of being confronted. Y'all are Leos. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Nothing will come of this situation, but choose your own path go your own way that's what i got for y'all i hope that makes some sort of sense i love you guys very much and i will catch y'all in next week's reading peace out